hello guys so today we will do some instructions uh, we'll start from interlocking of motors then we'll go with the timers counters move command jump subroutine etc etc let's see it right now we will make uh, an interlocking of two motors so just let's make it out by zero we'll place an holding ld by zero Now we'll use second input LDX1 and out Y1. We'll place the holding LDY1. We'll connect this and here we will give LDI Y0. Sorry, Y1 and we'll give here LDI Y0. Also, we'll place an OLRC LDI x1 x2 ldi x3 i'll write comments now so you can understand it better uh, it's start m1 start m2 and this is OLRC M1 and this is OLRC M2. We'll use X7 as a common reset. We do have Y0, Y0 is a motor 1 and Y1 is motor 2. We'll get back to the ladder diagram. Now, if you can see, um, can see here just give me a second we do have x0 as start button for motor 1 and we do have x1 as starter button for y1 uh, we have place holding so as we push button and release it our y0 will hold itself and same with y1 we have placed holding for y1 so that uh, motor y1 will hold itself and we do have interlocking what we have done is we have uh, placed an nc of um, other motors output so y1 nc is placed on motor 1 and y0 nc is placed on motor number 2 these two are uh, ncs and uh, <coughs> this is olrc in case of fault there will be an tripping of olrc which will uh, shut down the motor Now we'll add a common stop button here. LDI X7. This will stop a motor. LDI X7. And we'll write an end END. Uh, so now here um, we'll just compile, run, and see if it's running. So it's online. We'll start motor 1. Motor 1 is running. If we try to start motor 2, it's not running because we have placed an NC of motor 1 so that uh, motor 2 will not start. This is known as interlocking of two motors. Now, moving on, what we'll do is um, we'll do uh, Y0 to Y7 number of motor and it will start in sequence as um, when y0 starts y1 will start if you give a command and so on till y7 so we have eight motors and we'll just make it now ldx0 out y0 ldy0 LDX1 out Y1 LDY1 LDX2 out Y2 LDY2 LDX3 
आउट बाई थ्री एंड डी बाई थ्री एल डी एक्स फोर आउट बाई फोर एल डी बाई फोर एल डी एक्स फाइव आउट बाई फाइव एल डी बाई फाइव एल डी एक्स सिक्स आउट बाई सिक्स एल डी बाई सिक्स एल डी एक्स सेवन आउट बाई सेवन एंड एल डी बाय सेवन सो वॉट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव मेड एंड सर्किट टू स्टार्ट द मोटर now we'll have to make a circuit to stop the motor so what we'll do is first we will um we'll just make a sequential program so that when y0 is start y1 is eligible to start when y1 is start y2 will be eligible to start before that i'll just go and uh, correct the comments so that there is no confusion we'll delete this it is start start one then start two start three start four start five start six start 7 start 8 and we do have i just copy paste and change it little we do have motor 3 we do have motor 4 we do have motor 5 we do have motor 6 we do have motor 7 we do have motor 8 Now we'll just go here. You can see now. Now what we'll do is we'll place an NO LD of Y zero. So as if we start first motor, the second motor is eligible to run, and in sequence it will run till motor eight. So we'll place here LD Y two, LD Y one, LD Y two, LD Y three. LD by four, LD by five, LD by six. So here we are now. What we'll do is um, we'll place a stop switch. So we'll use LD X ten as a stop, common stop switch. Okay. We'll correct LDI extend now. I'll just copy paste. We have taken extend as a common stop. LDI extend ST OP stop. Here now we will have to erase this line. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here, okay. Going. So now it's all done. We'll place an end here. E N D. We'll save it. We'll make it go online. And the P L C is already in. Now we'll give command. So you can see, uh, as I have pushed x zero, y zero is start and y one is ready to start in sequence. We'll do the same, and let's see.
so it's running in sequence now we'll set extend to one now if we try to on any other it will not run because we have made a sequence so as if if we press x0 it will start in sequence now what we'll do is uh, what we'll do uh, we'll do it in reverse so if you have to stop um, what we have done right now is uh, we have done sequential program so uh, if uh, visor is start and next is eligible to start and when my one is start uh, y2 is eligible to start when y2 is start then y3 is start eligible to start and so on so now what we'll do is we'll go offline and what we'll make is uh, if uh, x1 x uh, sorry y7 is not off any other should not be off so we'll do uh, is and an oring of everything we'll place an uh, ld y7 we'll place an uh, and no contact here and we'll just connect it here so now if uh, motor 7 is off we can turn off um, motor motor 8 if motor 8 is off we can turn off motor 7 and so on 6 5 4 3 2 1 I'll just make it quickly ld by 6 ld by 5 ld by 4 no it's ld by 5 okay we have done the y5 it's y4 Now LD by three. No, it's by four. Okay, we are going good. It's by three, and we have uh, LD by two, and we have LD by one. We'll just go online. Now here uh, we have starting the we are starting the motors in sequence. When in sequence, uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to stop this motors, uh, we'll do is uh, when y seven is off, y six is off, y five is off, and so on. Means it will go in reverse, like uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And what I have done is we have taken a common stop. So if I press uh, extend it all the motors will turn off we'll have to change that so y10 will go with y11 here we will go with y12 here we'll go with y ld y13 Here we'll go with Y14. Uh, here we go with Y15. Here we'll go with Y16. Now here we'll go with the Y17. Now what we'll do is we'll shift the sequence switch here. So we'll just interchange it. You'll get to know why I have done this.
now it's done so we will just try it now so now it will start in sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now if you try to stop motor number 7 it will not stop it will just bypass through this and ignoring what we'll have to do is we'll have to turn off y7 so we'll just turn off y7 now we can turn off y6 now we can turn off y5 now we can turn off y4 we can turn off y three uh, as you can see here I have not placed the NC here so it's turning off we'll have to make it correct what we'll do is we'll select this we'll place it here here now the program is good to go we'll go here uh -huh. we'll go here and set to on set to off now we can turn off a motor one finally okay so it's turn off this is how sequence works